Gene and Jay Carpenter dine well on food they harvest right in the front yard. But when their raised beds turn out to be water hogs, Jay found a solution with wicking beds, even in five-gallon buckets. I was putting anywhere between seven and 9,000 gallons a month in order to grow my vegetables. And that's just too much water. I knew there had to be something better. My system of gardening has three steps. One is water conservation, timing, when to plant, when to harvest. And the third key is what I call um, terra petra, black earth. And it's a magic uh, substance called biochar that you put biochar in anything and the plants go crazy. He started with five-gallon bucket wicking beds. Larry Hall of Brainerd, Minnesota invented rain gutter bucket gardening. I looked at this and I said, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I must try it. Get a vinyl rain gutter, frame it in some treated lumber to make it rigid, put caps on the end. So now you have a water trough that holds water. Then you take a five gallon bucket, you cut a little hole in the bottom of the bucket and you insert in that hole these little wicking cups. You set the little cup down in the hole. You set the bucket on top of the wood frame so that the little wicking cup is in the water, but the bucket is just above the water. You fill the bucket with a special blend of um, material that wicks well, and then the water wicks from the bottom up. Instead of watering from the top down, your source of water is below. You have a little float valve on one end of the trough, and it's connected to your water source. So by gravity fed, the water just comes in. This little float valve goes, oh, we're getting a little low. Fills itself up, and just like a toilet, when it gets full, it shuts off. And I tried that, and the plants grew two to three times faster than what I had in the raised bed and used 20% of the water. Then he scaled up to 55-gallon food-grade drums inside his limestone beds. I took a 55-gallon drum, I cut it lengthwise in half, so now you have two kind of like horse troughs. I drilled holes in the bottoms of those and set those onto a six-inch pipe that has a slot cut out of the top filled with water. And the bottom of the drum has holes drilled in it where the little cups go, and the cups suck the water, and the water rises up into it. Now, we can't use our regular clay soils that we find around here in Central Texas. That It doesn't wick well, so you do have to invest in peat moss and other things. A lot of compost, composted cow manure, turkey manure, rabbit manure, uh, grass clippings. Compost, if breaks down over time because the microbes are breaking it down. So it has to be re replenished. The thing about peat moss or perlite, vermiculite, uh, they don't break down. So you need a medium for the roots to grow into. And in the medium, you mix in your organic fertilizers. He waters via rain collection tanks, even collecting from his neighbor's gutters. We cooperate. I have three 3,000 gallon fiberglass cisterns. I just run a little half inch plastic pipe through a filter and then underground that feeds the, the water pipes underneath my beds. If you hooked up a, a garden hose to your hose bib outdoors and just barely turn it on, you don't need much pressure at all. Jay also waters containers with an underground six inch pipe connected to the system. Here's an ordinary pot that appears to be sitting on the ground. However, we dig down, you see that these pots are also wicking from a pipe with a little feeder float. To supplement fertilizing, he brews compost tea in 55 gallon drums. You can take a five gallon bucket and a, a paint strainer bag, you know, that you strain and paint through, get some good uh, organic compost from your compost pile and fill it into that bag, suspend that into some clean water, 
put a little aquarium aerator stone in the T and another one down in the bottom. And in about 24 to 30 hours, you have compost tea. To spare water and insect frustration, Jay takes a break in summer. Trying to grow vegetables from March through the summer, it just didn't work. But growing vegetables from September to March does work. Winter is the time to grow vegetables in Austin. By the middle of March and April, I'm wrapping up, up my harvesting. And by the middle of May, I'm finished, that's it. And through all the summer, my gardens rest. So you say, well, what about the freezing weather? Well, if you add up all the freezing time that there is, it's only a few hours. I have vine ripe tomatoes for Christmas. To guarantee those Christmas tomatoes, along with winter vegetables, he does wrap his cattle panel supports with plastic. I just wrap the plastic and then use wooden nailers and just screw it, sandwich it between two pieces of wood, and, and you just pull it tight enough and it's, you can do it in about a, an hour. These are some of the peppers I grow. This is Boot Jalakia, or better known as the ghost pepper. It's uh, got some pretty good flavor, but it just off the wall hot. What I do is dry them out, grind them up, and this makes a very good rodent control. If you have squirrels or rats. Jay even cans it to make his signature super duper hot sauce. Ever experimenting in a standard raised bed, they're growing papayas from compost that harbor the seeds. They're loaded with fruit. Papaya is not a Central Texas plant. They freeze uh, very badly, but I can cut back the excess, wrap it in plastic. This will be their third year. To hang out in front with their neighbors and watch things grow, the carpenters designed a comfy flagstone patio. As a buffer between the street and the vegetable beds, they traded St. Augustine grass for water thrifty zoysia, bordered with fragrant plants for pollinators. But Jay's success with wicking beds inspire his vision for the future. We'll have 100 gallon barrels. The idea is that there's no limit to it, just scaling up, scaling up. And that's my next project, was, is to double my capacity of this. I tripled my capacity from the five gallon to the 55 gallon. Now I'm looking, all I need is a little more space and I may have to take my front yard out there to do it, but I'm a very determined young man. Young man. Write that down, young man. Mm -hmm.